Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Roger and I'm a music producer under the name Hoodboy. And we're here at my place in Echo Park and I'm here with my buddy PJ. I'm PJ, I go by Prom Night, a music producer out here in Los Angeles. And we both started Team Supreme. We started athletics. We're both part of Fool's Gold Records and we are here to make some beats. So we just got laced with Arcade. There's a new line called The Crate and we're gonna choose a kit from this bowl, completely random and both go off and make a beat with it. So you want to go first? Should I go first? Let's mm -hmm. Rochambeau it. Let's see. Okay, ready? Rochambeau. Oh. Ah. ah, okay. <laughs> so, Della Vespro. Della, Della, Della Vespro. Vespro. <laughs> Della Vespro it is. All right. Let the games begin. Let the games begin. Put it there. Let's get started. So I'm going to open up Arcade. We're going to go into Lines and Go down to the crate here and find Della Vespro. Here we go. All right, let's just scroll through this and see what we've got. So, so it seems like we got a very operatic choir like kit. Sweet. Let's just try to play something in. That sounds pretty good for now. Let's try switching it to G sharp minor. Sweet. Now let's figure out a bass line. I'm not a keyboard player by any means, so this is usually the route I go. Cool. We have a decent bass line now. Maybe we can add some chords to it. So let's can throw in good old atmosphere. When you have everything in G sharp, you can pretty much just run along the black keys. That's cool. Let's actually bring all of these as short as possible, these little mini clips, and I'm gonna just double it, everything. Now let's make it into a chord. And let's merge everything. So we have our chord progression, we have our bass line, and we have our arcade sample. Let's add some drums. Cool, another kick pattern. Once the drums come in, it would be cool to have more of an like 808 bass line. Yeah. Maybe a little bit much. Maybe we can bring in some shakers, like a shaker loop. Exactly like that. try just opening up another arcade in a different track just to see if we can add more of the crate. Um, let's go to Della Vespro, go to play. Bring it back to G sharp. The cool feature I like in uh, arcade is that you can grab these loops and hold it with the black key and create a step sequencer. Which is pretty cool because it just like automatically comes up with cool ideas. It's pretty fleshed out. Um, yeah, let's see what PJ does. Check out this arcade situation. The name of the pack, Della Vespro. It's orchestral. Make a Godfather type beat. <laughs> I guess whenever I make a beat, I just try and find something that works for me and kind of gives me a certain feeling.
That's kind of cool. I'll record that idea. Uh, maybe further chop this up a little bit. I try not to use sounds that are just like, you know, straightforward. I try and make them unique in some way. This is kind of cool. So let me go to my audio effects. Actually, I have an audio effect rack that I like to use a lot. Promfix. Just try some of these like weird ambient pads. It's a better pad actually. I like to do a lot of sampling from YouTube. Let's say I want to sample someone like Nas, right? Instead of sampling a Nas song, I like to sample interviews. And I have this Nas interview. When I'm in effect, I get the most clientele. Instead of using external reverbs, I try to keep everything inside of whatever program I'm using. There is a, a room reverb that you can just set a macro to. So I'm just gonna draw in a reverb. Skirt, there. <laughs> When I'm in effect, I get the most clientele. And then, we need like a snare or something to build this in. When I'm in effect, I get the most clientele. You can never have enough snares. I usually try and have some drum racks or something from old projects that I'll pull in. Ooh, a Christmas perk. I like it. I like to have fun with production, and I also like plugins that make me feel like I'm having fun. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Endless Smile. So let's just see what it will do if I just... Let's go ahead and kind of start making some type of bass line or something there. I always get asked questions about my sub, like they're like, oh, like, why does your sub sound this way? Why does it sound that way? I honestly just use like clean 808s. Oh, this is a really nice one. We're going to go ahead and do the one voicing because anyone that doesn't do one voicing on a sub is a fool and tell it to their face. Chill. Getting an idea started with Arcade and doing this has actually been super helpful. Sick. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go see what Hood Boy did. <laughs> so what'd you think? I mean, it was definitely an experience yeah. I made do with what I had, and uh, I think I made like a, a good beat. It was a challenge, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You want to hear yours? You want to do uh, mine first? I want to hear what you did, All because right. I All know right. you know, I know what I did, but I don't know what you did. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> this is me. Ready, ready for... The Timbaland pony. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Timbaland pony, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is sick. This is just like ready for like... Some Atlanta rapper, very inspirational. <laughs> I give this a, a solid A. Yeah, what do you, what's your scoreboard? All right, uh, so the player is I'll yours play mine, yeah. This, this has got Team Supreme right now. Yeah, this is very much a Team Supreme yeah, type yeah. beat. Chill. I feel like typically with like any loop or any type of sound I have, I mm -hmm. try and like make it my own in some right. way. So I just mm -hmm. kind of found two notes that I really liked that had like good um, texture to it. Right. And I used the the radio dial, you know how yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. yeah, I use the radio and just like crank. That was a cool effect. I just cranked the hell out of it. Yeah, and then um, I just kind of used like, you know, the normal like sound design stuff like frequency shifter, mm -hmm. grain delays and whatnot and just kind of boxed yeah. it in and made it its own thing. I feel like that's almost good in a sense too because like, I don't know, most people don't want to press a preset and like be like, oh, like someone made, like that's what they use. Right. It's like you want to have it be your own and make it into something, so. Yeah, I feel like the typical producer when they hear a loop, they're like, oh, like, 
I don't want to use this because it's just a loop. But yeah. if you make the loop your own or right. you kind of freak with it a exactly. little bit, you can kind of put it into a, 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 a good place. So who won? Mm. Mm. Is there a winner here? Everyone watching this. The winner this. is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone watching this is the winner for yeah. seeing how we make beats. Good beat, man. Good shit. Hey, you made a great beat. <laughs> Congrats, man. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations. <laughs>